it on the calendar. Monza hosted its first race all the way back in 1922. We're 12 miles northeast of Milan for today's Grand Prix at a Monza circuit where we can expect top speeds of around 215 miles per hour. 11 corners on this 3.6 mile track with seven of those coming in the form of chicanes and with a good slipstream and DRS open, there should be plenty of opportunity for some passing here today. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the run down into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle and the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Azim lines up on pole position, edging out Sergio Perez, who lines up P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Fernando Alonso, Hamilton, Lando Norris and Ricardo, Sainz, Bottas, Russell and Pierre Gasly, Verstappen, Mick Schumacher, Charles Leclerc and Giovinazzi, Joe, Sonoda, Esteban Ocon and Callum Eilert, Latifi and Nikita Mazepin. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. I can see them on their way out to the podium now. Aston Martin are really making waves in this sport and what a special race it was to see them earn the top spot. 